Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited you're here because today I'm doing a bit of like an old school video that I used to do on my channel and talking about Mac. I just wanna bring it back to those days when I talked about my favorite Mac products. I used to work at Mac. I used to dream about working at Mac and especially nine years ago when I did this video the last time on my channel talking about my top favorite products then. My voice was like so much higher then, you guys. If you watch my old videos, I had like a little bit of a, like a Southern Arkansas accent. Anyways, I'll link it down below if you guys want a good laugh. Yeah, I just wanna go ahead and get right into it. I narrowed it down to 10, which I'm really proud of myself for. I think you guys will really like the items I chose. So, the first product is a no-brainer and I like didn't even have to hesitate reaching for it. It is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. I am already almost out of it. I go through this stuff quite a bit in my kit. I cannot be a proper makeup artist without this stuff, you guys. It is a lifesaver because when I'm doing someone's makeup or makeup on myself, things can get heavy really quick. Or if you're using a lot of layers, you can get powder, you can get dry. This rescues any sort of face makeup situation. It just makes everything calm down. It adds moisture back into the skin. Every time I spray it on someone, they compliment the smell. They feel luxurious. I just rely on this so much. I highly recommend it. The next Next item on my top 10 list has got to be MAC Studio Fix Fluid with SPF 15 in it. When I smell it, it reminds me of when I first started uh, getting into makeup and it just brings me, brings me back. So there's a little bit of nostalgia behind this foundation for me because it just was like my first big purchase of foundation and I just felt like I was a part of the cool club once I got this foundation. No joke. I love this because you can just really thin it down if you want. You can use a tiny bit but get like a good amount of coverage or you can go all in with this stuff and get a really flawless finish. And yes, it's a little more mattifying, but I always just really make sure I hydrate the skin first before I go in with this. It's just kind of like a ride or die foundation. It's a staple in my kit. I have several colors. If it suits the right person, I will use it on them. It's a classic, it's a cold favorite. Oh my gosh, just hit my humidifier. The next product is my newest MAC product. I am so glad I got it. It literally solved the problem that I was having with warming up the skin tone on my clients. It is MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. So I use a lot of Hoola bronzer and Hoola was just looking a little bit cool tone for me. It is so good for the contouring, I find, but it's not good for overall bronzing. This color used to scare me. What I do now, and it has been a game changer, is use a really fluffy brush and it's so finely milled. It's part of the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural line. So it's a finely milled powder that's been baked into this pan here. So when you dip your brush in it, it is so soft. It's not gonna cling onto your skin. It gives a really like airbrush overall bronze look and the shade is money, you guys. It is so good. I'm so happy I added it to my kit. Kind of just a, like a layup to the next product. I love the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Products line so much. I'm obsessed with the formula of these, you guys. So these are similar. This is the bronzer and this is a setting powder. Like one of these will last you so long. That's what's amazing about these. And again, it's that finely milled powder. It never looks cakey. I have really dry skin. So for me to rave about a powder is kind of backwards, but I will rave about this one because it doesn't ever settle into the fine lines it's it's almost like you put it and it's a little bit glowy still like it sets your makeup but glowy highly recommend this setting powder if you're looking for a great one this is the bomb the next uh, product is an eyeliner that I can't live without. Ah, oh, I love this eyeliner so much. The MAC Eye Coal in Coffee. I am such a fan of a dark brown. Like, I love a black on the top, but if I'm gonna do liner on the bottom and smoke out the lower lash line, I choose a brown over black every single time. Black can be really intense and close up the eye. I think dark brown is like the best kept secret to make eyes look smoky, but never too intense and dark. So coffee is literally the perfect eyeliner for like doing a smoky eye all over a really sultry look doing inside the waterline i just love this it's kind of like my staple brown and i go through it like crazy this is something i'll always keep rebuying and having in my kit for myself and for my client work it's so good you guys have to check that one out i'm at five okay so the next one is another kind of nostalgic product that or item that i it is like the first thing I got. I remember going to my local Mac counter at Tyson's Corner in Nordstrom's and I was stalking the girl because I was like, 
how do I get a job here? What products do I need? And she was like, okay, do you have this brush? And it changed my world. She said, you can do a whole eye look with the MAC 217 brush. And I was like, what? That can, I mean, I thought I had to have 100 brushes. I couldn't believe it. So I bought like four of these and I still have the same ones. They hold up forever. And this is, I mean, I know there's so many brush lines that have recreated MAC brushes, but this has been my ride or die in my kit and for, for myself personally for literally 10 years. I love the MAC 217 because it, the shape is a tapered blending style and you can use, I, exactly what the girl said, you can use the flat end, the belly of the brush is how she said it, to pack on lid color and then you can use the tapered rounded edge to do your crease, to do your smoky eye and you're unstoppable with this, whether you're doing makeup on yourself or on someone else. Eyeshadow, that, this is a hard one to like narrow down to just like one or two but I did it and I'm really proud of myself and I thought of about this and I was like what are the ones that I always use and that I recommend to people when I'm doing client work what I came up with is cork and cork is one of my all-time favorites because it's a matte shade that is so unique it looks like the most blah color ever that's what I love telling people I'm like you're not gonna be excited about this color but watch what it does in your crease so I put it in people's crease I put it in my crease it just changes everything it gives so much dimension to the eye it's your starting point that literally saves you for any eye look. Like you can go smoky, you can go shimmer on the lid, but cork in the crease. You could do cork in the brows. Cork, you won't believe this, but works in my brows. It, it's a beautiful brow color. And I like that it's not super warm. Like an, it's gonna, not gonna pull orange and it's not gonna pull too cool. It's like right in the middle. It's perfect. And another one has got to be Embark. I have used this color on so many people. I have so many pe brides wearing Embark in their in their crease and in the outer corner. Oh my goodness, this color is so rich. I go for the plums and the browns to smoke out looks. I just prefer that. Unless the client really wants black, then I'll do that. But black can get really crazy really fast. And I just find Embark to be one of the most pigmented, perfect, like kind of like deep, rich brown tones that looks that just transforms your eyes. And I love using this with the MAC 217. Oh my God, this combo is a dream. I, I'm getting so jazzed talking about this eyeshadow. I'm just really happy I picked two because that was really hard. So the next thing I have is this concealer palette, which I don't know if this is available anymore, but I'm pretty sure all the concealers in here are uh, the Studio Finish formula. I also um, have had the singles. I have found this to be the most full coverage concealer um, for spots and for clients who want to kind of like help with scarring or acne scarring. So I just like find this to be one of the most intense, like it could cover tattoos. That's how intense it is, but you can definitely thin it down. So as a makeup artist, I just feel really in control and in power with this type of concealer. This palette I just thought was really genius for a makeup artist. I actually couldn't find Ruby Woo. I really want to talk about Ruby Woo. That's one of my favorite reds. Russian red is one of my favorites. This is a little less drying than Ruby Woo. If you know how drying Ruby Woo can be, it's pretty intense. But once it's on there, it is the prettiest blue undertone red. It makes your teeth look so white. It's so pretty. I'm not wearing it right now. I'm wearing a different color because I couldn't find it. I really wanted to wear it for you guys. But Ruby Woo for a red. And then um, for a nude, I love Blankety. I think Blankety is such a pretty color. I love Jubilee. Uh, I've been loving Faux for Bridal. Those are some of my favorites. Lipstick, they just kill it. And if you guys don't know, the, there's a Back to Mac recycling program where you bring in six empty containers of Mac products, then you can get a free lipstick or lip gloss. So make sure you guys um, look into that. If you don't know about it, if you, you don't know what to do with some of your old Mac products, definitely bring them in or recycle them for a lipstick product that you might like. All right, now the last item I have for you guys is the MAC Cream Sheen Lip Gloss in Boy Bait. This is one of the prettiest colors. I think it was my most used lip gloss of 2018 on clients. I can't tell you how much this product worked on top of any lipstick, lip gloss, not lip gloss, any lipstick or lip liner. I felt like if I did something too dark on a bride or if I feel like I went too harsh, I like, I just counted on this to like soften the look. It just always added a really gorgeous, it like almost looks like the lips are like glass. Like they're so shiny. The um, formula of this is amazing. I am at the end of it, so I'm gonna back to Mac this, but I highly recommend it. I can't wait to get another one, Boy Bait. It's the prettiest color and it just softens everything. If you ever go too dark, it's like a really soft, kind of like petal pink, 
as you can see it's so like neutral but it just adds like this layer I can't even describe it's the prettiest prettiest formula and people love it I hope this video helped the next time you hit up your local Mac counter or the website I I love Mac so much I get like giddy about it because it really was like the first brand to open my world up to makeup it was the first brand that let me work there without any experience and I just am like so grateful towards this brand I I love it so I am so glad someone requested this video I was really excited to film it for you guys hope you all enjoyed it make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you did and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one see ya